Yeah, I had some wonderful years here. Here is where we really found out whether players were good enough to play for Kildare or not. Brave heart hail they call it. And you needed a brave heart to be able to run it. We'd start from here to the straight up. You can see the path look going to the very top, up around the trees and back down to me. There was one for a <laughs> side in the trees. And I got him. I said nothing. <laughs> but he didn't last too long after I got a few, few sessions after he was gone. My steady pace now all the way. It was rumoured heavily that I was being chartered around in a helicopter into Kildare for training sessions. And I was getting 100,000 and 50,000 and all that kind of old talk. And I had an old cock of a Mercedes, so when I arrived in the banger, I think they just couldn't believe what was happening. I kept a good one at home and I put a bad one on the road. I didn't intend to come here to Kildare at all in the start. Uh, I mean, how low could you have gone? They played Kilkenny in the Auburn Cup, I think about six weeks before I came, and Kilkenny beat him. I didn't think that they'd be capable of winning it as a title at that stage. Who's got the courage now to dig really deep? It's going to take something special. Martin Lynch, the player, loose inside. St. Lawrence's Club here in Kildare. My wife, God rest her, she didn't like it when he came to Kildare. She said that was the cause of bringing him here. But I suppose in a way I was. He played minor in under 21 for Kerry and played senior as well. But that dropped him then. But I don't think he got fair play in Kerry, to be honest. But I knew well that there was plenty of football in him. There's a mass outpouring of joy at Crow Park. Centre stage this afternoon, Mick O'Dwyer. Of course, coach carried to eight All-Ireland titles, won four All-Ireland medals himself, and now here he is with the Leinster champions. Beautiful ball, Carl O'Dwyer against his native county. Kicking, and he scores. The referee whistles and it's all over. Kildare have dethroned the champions and reached the All-Ireland final for the first time since 1935. Glenn Ryan has been a magnificent captain this afternoon. In Kerry, you know, when you're in Northern Ireland final, you rarely see a flag. That would be pretty scarce. But when in Kildare that year, everywhere was a wash of white. They weren't excited at all. They were crazy. I never saw anything like it in my life. You couldn't go to any village or town or anywhere in the county, but there was bunting flying in all directions. Encouragement, dropping it in there towards Cork Joyce. Joyce having this chance to put ball away. The hype that went down in Kildare for that All Ireland final was unreal. I suppose it has an effect on the players. There's no doubt about it. It was a very good call by the side. In any sport you're in, you want to get to the very top and play in the big day. Those Kildare players got that opportunity, and I think they'll never forget it.
Mr. James? Oh, very welcome, you're, very welcome. How are you? You've turned to the horses. Turned to the horses. In a big way. In a big way. Do you know, I'm Mate, not, how are you? Sure things. Really I'm not too bad. He was always a horse himself, wasn't he? Nine stars seven when he met you first. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I could have been a jockey, mate. You could have been, yeah. <laughs> yeah, have a sweet tooth, Michael. Very much so. Well, we have special bars here now. I call them jockey bars. They're only half the size of normal bars. Because <laughs> the jockeys can't eat the full size. Oh, be gee. <laughs> they suit you. This is big enough. Is it? <laughs> I think I remember when Nico came first, he had 50 or 60 lads in the training. And we, we possibly would have trained for 20 nights in a row. And at the end of that 20 nights, he had probably 25 to 30 guys left because guys just had faded away because the training was so hard. Wouldn't he run us? We'd be running after him. <laughs> and you'd be laughing in the middle. <laughs> there were purgatorial runs more so than anything else. I trained the horses the same way you trained us. And that's, there's, there's only one way work. Work is right, yeah. exactly, and they love it. And, and the hearts are lovely too, it. Yeah. And just they were great times in Kildare. They were brilliant. They were. They were, were actually. Just sure. they were. Haven't been the same since. Like, he brought to Kildare success, mm. and, and he brought respect to Kildare football mm. that wasn't before, and uh, he literally brought a, a handicapping horse up nearly to try and nearly win a group one.